Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and I uh, figured I'll do another quick video. I haven't done a video in a very long time and um, I've been really busy. Family stuff, work stuff. Uh, I've been running these little wheels and tires that I got on Craigslist for 100 bucks. They are 260, let me see. I think they're stock size, yep, right here. 265, 70 by 17. I don't know what the offset on these is, but I think it's a little bit wider than stock because they're pretty much flesh with the fenders. But anyways, I picked up some wheels now. Uh, 35 by 12 and a half, 20s, right here. And these are Firestone, Firestone Destinations MT2s. These are the new model, they had the MTs. Um, I had about three sets of MTs and I really liked them, but the thing with those the stubs are solid on those, so they're, they kind of sucked in the wet and, uh, and rain. So what I ended up doing, every time I bought a set, I would go to like Les Schwab and I would sipe the, I would sipe the studs. They would like hot knife the studs at, the, at Les Schwab. And the, the wet and ice improvement was dramatic. And uh, with these, when these came out, I was like, um, I was looking at them and I saw that they were already siped from the factory, so that was pretty cool. And that's why I decided to buy them, try them out, and I got a really good deal on them from Firestone. I had a, a friend discount at uh, over there, and then they had the uh, Black Friday discount, so I was able to get all four tires, um, all four tires installed on the wheels at the door for a thousand dollars twenty. So that's a really good deal. Um, considering that the tires are two sixty nine, I believe before tax so that was a pretty good discount that I got and uh, what I wanted to do is just kind of put them on my truck because my truck has two inch uh, leveling kit and I ended up just kind of throwing them on the truck just for fun just to see how they you know sit and the back will run just fine I might even take up th that plastic right there but it, it's still it's still fine the back doesn't move the, the, pro the problem is the front. It's fine now, obviously, when it goes straight, but when I turn the wheel about one turn, then it starts rubbing right there. And same thing on the front. So yes, it does need a lift. And I do have a six and a half inch lift right there, sitting in the boxes. So I'll do the front first. And then if I need to like run to work or whatever, then you know I can, I can drive it. And then the back I'll do after that when I get some time I'll try to do it all together at once but if I can't at least I'll be you know at least I'll be able to drive it with just the front lifted and uh, as far as being flush with the fenders these are negative 12s uh, 20 by 9 negative 12 millimeters and they sit fairly flush maybe I'd say about an inch out, no, maybe half an inch sticking out and eventually I will do fenders, uh, fender flares, and when you do the lift on the front, they, they will stick out a little more. Uh, so on the back, I'll probably add uh, a spacer, like a half an inch, maybe an inch spacer on the back. That way the track will be the same on the front and the back. But other than that, I really love how they look. The gray looks really nice with the black. I don't want to get all black wheels just because um, then you can't tell the details on the wheels when the truck is all black and the wheels are all black. If my truck was white or silver, then I would get the black wheels. But in this case, I think this kind of looks really nice with the gray uh, spokes and the gray bolts on there. I know, I really like it. It kind of gives the truck a really nice look to it. And I was able to finally find the front balance in black without the chrome mustache. Uh, it took me a while to find it. I had some bad luck with a couple orders. Uh, but now I basically just went to my dealer and I said uh, Here's the VIN number to the truck that has the black all black and then I ordered the uh, Front lip off of that truck and it was only I believe 330 I do have the bottom the little spoiler that goes on the bottom from my damaged one that I can possibly reuse but I still have not decided if I want to run it just uh, the balance part without the spoiler or add the spoiler I'm still debating that 
I think the spoiler kind of makes it look like a little sports car, uh, but we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll do. Uh, I'll figure that out after I do the lift, and then I'll see how it looks how it looks better or taller or whatever. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in a bit when I'm gonna start the lift and. Uh, I'm uh, pretty excited. It's gonna be a uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little truck. And uh, I'm keeping track of uh, all the spendings in the description. So if you'd like to see how much I spent on what, uh, feel free to take a look. And if you've got any questions, let me know. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya.